Hi, I'm Mark Beal, and this is Overcoming Fear that helps reprogram your mind with the appropriate level of caution and confidence. So, settle into your comfortable hypnosis space where it is safe to relax as much as is appropriate for you today. So, you can close your eyes now and give this your full, relaxed attention, knowing that hypnosis isn't unconsciousness, it's about communicating with your subconscious to help achieve your goals. So begin now by taking three conscious, deeper breaths. Breathing in, deeper and slower, holding it then exhale, and release and let go. Breathing in, deeper and slower, and exhale, release and let go. Breathing in, deeper and slower, holding it, and exhaling, releasing and letting go. Now, letting your subconscious mind breathe for you. Just aware of the touch of the air on your nose. Knows how to breathe for you as you continue to go deeper with every breath, with every heartbeat, taking you deeper and deeper. So, the more relaxed you feel, the deeper you go, and the deeper you go, the more relaxed you feel as you breathe in. Visualize or imagine that you are breathing in positive energy. As you breathe out, visualize or imagine you can release any energy you no longer need and you can let go of tension in the body paradoxically by tensing the muscles, then relaxing completely, concentrating on the feeling of muscular tension, and then the relief of relaxation. If you have any injuries or pain in any part of the body, don't tense that area, just breathe and mentally release. As we tensen the muscles, you can do so with energy, but not excess strain. So beginning with the hands, form a fist, hold it, tightening, tensing, even the fingers tensing and squeezing that tension and release and observe the relaxation as you can let it go, unfolding, relaxing. And moving to the biceps. So, while keeping the hands relaxed, bend the arms and find that way to hold the bicep tense, tighter, tense, squeezing, and release, relax, and let go. Now, tense in the shoulders, the triceps, and the neck. So bring the shoulders up, straighten the arms, and find that way to tensen the shoulders, the triceps, and the neck. Tightening, tensening, squeezing, feeling those sensations, watching them tighter, squeezing, and release. Relax and let go, noticing, watching that tension drain away. So now, you can notice the relaxation through the arms and move to the feet and the calves and find a way to tensen the feet, curling, tensening, tightening, squeezing now, squeezing tighter and release, relax and let go and let that tension drain away. Now, tensen the quads, the hamstrings and the butt, the upper legs and the backside. So, find that way to tensen the quads, 
the hamstrings, the glutes, tensing, tightening, keeping the rest of the body relaxed, but tensing, squeezing those muscles tighter, and relax, and let go, and watch that tension drain away, impairing the sensations of tension that you can create with the sensations of relaxation that you allow and observe now so we can move to the face and the jaw open the jaw widening the mouth squeezing the eyes down tight tensing the lips and the cheeks finding that way to tensen the muscles of the face and the jaw tensing tighter opening stretching squeezing tighter and release relax and let go and let that tension drain away and just let your whole body relax observing the difference and continue to allow tension to drain away now i wonder if you noticed your breathing hand it over control to your subconscious mind so your breathing deep in your mind from your nostrils down to the lungs even to the abdomen and all the way down to the soles of the feet because you can become aware of and relaxed in the power of your mind at all levels to take care of you notice the most relaxed part of your body now let that relaxation grow and flow through you if that calm cleansing energy had a color what color could it be imagine or feel that color of calm cleansing energy flow through your body so you can inhale more of the color of your calm cleansing energy brighter and lighter so it grows and goes deeper flowing up from the soles of your feet warm or tingling heavy or floating through your ankles to the calves and the knees flex able to move to the quads and the thighs through your core up to the chest your heart beating sending loving energy through your body and head down deeper imagining that energy flowing down the crown over your forehead and eyelids like a warm heavy comfortable blanket of calm clear relaxation and you don't have to try to think or stop thinking just watching and aware of today's thoughts and perceptions coming and going so your mind could wander and wonder as it just stops thinking about that and wondering what is it that you're not thinking of now visualize or imagine yourself at the top of a staircase with seven steps down to a safe comfortable white room getting ready to step down with each number seven notice the texture and material you choose for your step five look feel imagine each Four, step as you step down three slow down deepen to your subconscious mind one now ready to step down into the white room now make the room how you like it as you go inside 
Imagine you can settle back into a comfortable chair. And imagine in front of you has a small cinema screen with a relaxing scene. It's fine whether it's a beach, lake or garden or a favourite place in nature for you, like your true nature, where you can relax deeply, because this place deep in your subconscious mind now is a place where you can access many other places in your subconscious, like memories, emotions, beliefs all guided by your inner wisdom so you can return to this safe, calm, clear, peaceful place anytime. Your subconscious can hear us and you can experience whatever you need to today that will assist you in achieving your goals. Because the fact that you are here hearing these words relaxing me that your subconscious is willing to work with you in a new way that's forgiving past events new meaning and forgetting past blockages. You are here listening to this now because you have made a conscious decision to let the unnecessary excess part of that fear go. So you can repeat that intention deep inside your mind now, in a calm, clear, matter-of-fact tone of inner voice. I am ready to let the excess part of that fear go. Say that to yourself. I am ready to let the excess part of that fear go. So that sinks in at many levels while there have been times in the past where you've been calm or confident even in a challenging situation. Maybe they relate directly to the fear you are here to deal with today. Maybe there were times or circumstances when you are okay in a way with that type of situation. Maybe it's another type of situation that other people felt fear or uncomfortableness in, but you did not. Maybe you didn't notice what you weren't afraid of then, and how you were calm and clear, but you can notice that now, drifting back. Letting one come up let that one be the right one, now be there, focusing, knowing. In that moment, where are you? Are you inside or outside? What are you doing there? Notice your way of being, your body language, your breathing. How do you experience being calm and clear, confident and at ease? Inhale that feeling, letting it grow more and more as you notice your tone of voice, sounding calm helping to calm others. Notice your inner voice, thinking clearly, more confidently. Play that scene, seeing and knowing because you can reconnect with your inner calm confidence and bring it to the forefront. Imagining hearing, knowing, you can notice each sensory detail of what calm confidence is like for you. Study your body language, how you sit, walk, hold yourself, 
step into your posture. Imagine, see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt, and let that get closer, louder, brighter, clearer, better, and better. Who could be your calm, confidence role model? Think of a person who has an inspiring, calm confidence. Maybe there's someone you know personally, or a public figure, like an actor, the kind of person that we watch, and they make us feel confident just in watching them. We're attracted to that energy, and we feel it, and we want to be like it, and we feel we can experience that vicariously and integrate that in ourselves into our being. Imagine the high confidence, low fear person in front of you. Study their body language, how they walk and talk. Imagine taking on their posture now. Imagine that as you feel their posture and mannerisms, and as you step into that body language and physicality. You start to feel emotionally what it's like to be like them, and start to think the thoughts of confidence and ease. Notice how you can make adjustments so you integrate their mannerisms, physicality, feelings, and thoughts into something you can fit comfortably and authentically with your style, so you make your own style of calm confidence even stronger, closer, clearer, better and better. You are here now to make a change, you can connect with past resources, and you can disconnect from past blocks that you can leave in the past. If we don't deal with the past, it can stick with us. If we face it now, we can deal with it and be free from it. So soon we'll ask your subconscious mind to search through your memory to see if there's any specific moment from your past that is contributing to excess unnecessary fear or uncomfortableness. You can recall this only as a black and white image on an out of date TV screen off in the distance. It could be any medium level experience related directly or indirectly to the fear you've set an intention to work on today. Your subconscious mind has a wisdom knowing how to choose the right one for you to deal with in a time that is most helpful and appropriate and safe and beneficial for your long term. The intensity of your recall of that experience should be no more than you need, just enough to gain insight. The purpose of this memory is to go to, through, and beyond out-of-date experiences that created triggers for fear that is excessive and unnecessary. So we go to, through, and beyond fear, seeing it calmly and clearly during and emerging with confidence and ease. You can recall this as small black and white images on an old TV screen, and if at any time you want to stop, you can turn off the TV screen so the scene fades and you focus on your breathing. So, going back to a memory of a challenging moment, contributing to fear or discomfort that has been limiting you, drifting back days, months, or years ago. Letting one come to the forefront. Let that one 
be the right one so it can come up on your small black and white TV screen now in that moment where are you? are you sitting, standing or moving? if you want you can make that image imagination move further away a little into the distance, dimmer, fuzzier, out of focus. Noticing only what you need to for insight. Notice the beginning. How that scene starts. And as you play a four, see how you're acting and reacting. As you go to the middle, notice your body language and breathing, and how others are acting and reacting. Play it forwards towards the end. Notice what happened as you come towards the end of that episode. And what happened after it finished. What kind of conclusions did you come to shortly afterwards? What beliefs may have formed? Now, since that's on your TV screen, imagine you have a remote control so you can run that scene backwards. So all the people walked backwards, talked backwards, everything happened in reverse. So from the end of that scene, after it had finished, when things got back to normal, rewind it back towards the end of the episode, rewinding it so things go in reverse. <laughs> From the end to the middle to the start. So as you run it backwards again, going through to the middle, seeing what happens in the middle of it, and people talking like a video rewinding, and then take it back to the beginning, seeing the starting point and then rewinding it back when you start it off at normal. And we can rewind that scene backwards again. So from before it happened, go back to a time just after it had happened. And this time we can run it backwards from after it happened to before it happened. So run the scene backwards again now. So all the people talk backwards. Everything happened in reverse. Everything happened in reverse. Rewind from the end to the last half of it. To the middle of the episode. Rewinding it back through to the beginning. Rewinding it back to before it started. As you do this now, you're literally reversing old programming. We can do this one more time, rewinding from after it ended. This time, in addition to the soundtrack and the reverse, make the whole thing look like a cartoon, so that uncomfortableness becomes comic, or silly, or funny. And the more the excess comic reaction, the more ridiculous, cartoony, or funny it seems. So you can make the pictures cartoony, and even have some funny cartoony voices. Rewinding back from the end. Keep doing that now. Rewinding back through the middle. Seeing the actions and reactions. Rewinding back to first third. Rewinding back to the beginning. The first reaction. And then rewinding it back to before it started. Let's go. So you keep doing that. Making the soundtrack, the cartoon, the voices. Ooh, 
that past moment was acting as a block because we remember it in a certain way. It may have seemed serious in a way then, but we have a choice on how we want things to affect us now. We have the power to look at it in a new way to change its meaning. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at do change. Imagine that younger you can step out of that TV screen and be with the fully adult, up-to-date self now. With your calm clarity and higher self-wisdom. Imagine if you can give that younger you a hug. And as you do this, you can pass on the feelings and thoughts and knowing that they need. Back then, in that fear moment, you might have been unsure of your survival. You didn't even know if you would survive. So the moment can get frozen beyond time. You are here now because you did survive, so let that younger you know you survived. You are here because you decided to set the appropriate level of caution and let go of excess fear because you know excess fear is not helpful. In fact, excess fear can be counterproductive and dangerous. You have decided instead to have more calm, clarity, confidence and ease because this lets you enjoy life more and because it is safer to have more calm, clarity, confidence and ease. So, you can repeat that intention deep inside your mind now, in a calm, clear, matter-of-fact tone of inner voice. I am ready to let the excess part of that fear go. I am ready to let the excess part of that fear go. Because this is the safer way to be free of fear. The things we fear can come upon us. It's a law of attraction in reverse. The more excess fear we have, the more we attract events that trigger our fear. Imagine yourself a few days from now. In a situation where you have an appropriate level of caution and confidence. Let an image arise. Notice the beginning, how you stand, your posture and body language. Play it forward and notice the feeling a calmer, clearer way of looking at it. Notice how you act. And react in a new, empowering way. Imagine how good it could become now. Notice how well people react to you. Then progress towards the end. Noticing how you wrap it up. What happens afterwards? What kind of conclusions you come to? That was okay? No big deal? 
and it's easier than I thought. No, it's my kind of beliefs. Come now. Play it again. Bring it closer, louder, brighter. Running it through from several angles. Growing stronger. Imagining continuing improvements. Other possible actions and reactions. Getting better each time. If we avoid our fears, they follow us. If we face our fears, they tend to disappear. We are asking your mind to find ways to keep any helpful and predictive things that the fear used to do for you, and let go of any unhelpful, excess, out-of-date emotions and limiting beliefs. We are not asking to get rid of all fear but to find a safer, more appropriate balance of caution and confidence. So imagine an internal gauge. If your fear or discomfort used to be 8 out of 10, we don't have to remove that totally. Anything below 5 out of 10 means it's in the minority, a minor thing. 4.9 out of 10 will do, 5.1 is greater. Your calm confidence becomes the majority. So what's the optimal balance for you? Can calm confidence be 6 or 7 out of 10? So caution becomes 4 or 3 out of 10. Choose the amount you are okay with now knowing what's appropriate for the situations you're in. Choose the amount you're okay with and lock that in. And as you do that, you can adjust the mechanism of your mind. It's not an on or off switch. It's a dial that you can adjust so it's just right for you. With that done, knowing what you know now, what could you tell the younger you so they can act in a new way? How would you empower them to deal with that situation differently? It's understandable to have acted that way, knowing what you knew then. But knowing what you know now means you can even replay that scene again. We've seen that scene as it was with different soundtrack. Different images from cartoons and in reverse. This time you can play it so it looks as it did then. But what happens can be quite different and empowering for your goal. So let that younger you be back in that scene before that fear event. But this time they can act with what you know now. So this is very different to what actually happened, yet you have the power to imagine it. So you might coach that younger you how the reactions and actions can be very different and better. You might even be positively surprised how that younger you acts automatically differently in that old memory, so the memory can change. Do that now. Going to before that event, 
and playing forward, noticing how you act and react in a new empowering way. Keep doing that, seeing yourself in that situation, but acting in an ideal way, improving it, and improving the improvements, so it can get better and better. Through the beginning, how that flows through and changes the middle, and the end may completely change an alternative ending because your powerful subconscious mind can overwrite and recode your experience. Take a deep breath in, inhaling your powerful subconscious mind and exhaling, releasing and letting go. Inhaling your powerful ability to change. And exhaling, releasing and letting go any old habits, thoughts, beliefs, memories or anything that was not helping you can now be subconsciously released. Now, Whenever you're in a similar situation, instead of replaying unhelpful, outdated scenes from the past, your mind will automatically run new ways that are empowering. Any old, out-of-date habits or emotions are fading away now, off into the distance, smaller, fuzzy, out of focus. You've been able to set the appropriate level of caution and confidence, so you can feel good knowing that this works automatically as you have let your subconscious work for you now. In a few moments I'll count you up to five, and at five you'll be fully awake and aware. So coming up with one, aware of your bodily position in the room around you. So with two, moving the fingers and toes. With three, breathing in. With four, nearly there. So with five, eyes can open now and coming back refreshed and alert, feeling good. With one, two, three, four, five, eyes open, refreshed and alert, feeling good.